what's up kid family on today's video we are going to be doing some welding under the vehicle we picked up a harbor freight titanium 125 welder and you know this is the main reason we picked it up we've done a little bit of welding just recently and we kind of suck for the most part but here's what we are looking at we got a flex pipe right here which the actual outer shell broke off this is moving all over the place just look at it it's it's really not leaking but you hear this travel into the cabin this noise when the car is driving so we're gonna try to tack some of this net onto the pipe here and then also over here a long time ago there was a uh, hanger which broke off so I kind of put this this is actually a clothes hanger here that I put in and we kind of JB welded it back in this position but it broke over time so we're just trying to clean up the metal here and we're just going to try to tack it on to place here so at least it's more steady because again there's so much play in the whole system primarily right over here so hopefully we'll be able to maneuver something again this by no means is a professional job this is my first time welding under the vehicle so we're going to be doing overhead welding which is kind of challenging and yeah i don't know we'll just wing it we'll see how it goes hopefully we don't burn through the pipe because the last time I was trying to patch up a hole in the exhaust, we just burned right through it. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully I don't make this worse than it should be. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We are going to be using the car as a ground. So I heard it's recommended to disconnect your negative, body, uh, negative battery terminal just in case. You don't want to blow out some fuses. You don't want to burn your ECU. So for the peace of mind, let's just take this off. Set it right over here. All right, here is my welding rig. Just got some cheap Harbor Freights gloves. We got the Titanium 125. This is a flux core welder, gasless. So it's perfect for jobs outside such as this. It's not the cleanest kind of welder. It will give you the cleanest beads, but for a beginner, it's the best we are gonna work with. And you know, we've ran this thing in our home garage and it hasn't blown the fuse. It only blew it once. But other than that, it's been working great. Unfortunately, with where the car is positioned, I think we are gonna have to run an extension cord. So I'm hoping because it's green and the machine's green, that won't cause any issues. I'm just kidding on the last part. All right, guys, I got my setting set. We're pretty much gonna be using the 18 gauge on this. We don't wanna burn through the exhaust. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my, metal mag my magnet here let's roll under here let's just make sure the magnet is attracted to this it is attracted that means it is steel this looks like aluminum though this little copper or this little pipe here might be aluminum so I don't know we're trying to tack these pieces to the pipe here and then over here let's hope this is steel yep this is steel so this will be able to tack over there no problem so Right now, I'm going to try to lay some tack welds around here. And then we'll try to push this whole pipe together, squish it, lay some tacks here. So hopefully that works out. Hopefully we don't burn through. And uh, as far as the helmet, we are using Deco auto dimming helmet. So far, it's been working good. I've been experimenting with the shades so i'm trying to just trying to see the puddle you know what i'm saying guys i'm gonna run it at like a 10 and a half right now so let's get started let's put this on go under the car see what we can do so far so good there's like no room under this car especially not for this helmet but we got to do what we got to do All right, well, at least we know our ground is working. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to tack weld this. Because, again, it's aluminum, it seems like. 
At least the fuse ain't blowing, that's good. Yeah, it's just blowing through that. It's just frying it. Let's see if we can just maybe tack it, just like a light, light tack. Not really. Yes. I don't think that's gonna work. If you guys can see it's it's burning the soft metal up it's just it's not not able to do it it's because before this wasn't even it seems like this uh, mesh wasn't even welded it was just kind of tucked in on the other pipe over there all right guys well it seems like that's gonna be a fail nothing we can do to help out right there but what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I don't know if you can see I'm just gonna tack on this hanger right here to the pipe it was a previous weld where a hanger was so we're just gonna try to tack this on because even though I got it supported right here I mean it still can be making some some noises there I mean it's pretty good and it's it's on there as is but let's tack it on just for the safety and security and hopefully it'll make a little bit less noise so far it's not too bad I didn't get burned yet by the welder so I can't really complain. Let's just finish the job here. Call it a day. Oh, it burns. Oh, everything's burning. Man. That just all went on my belt. Look at that. Took two shirts, man. Whew. Dang. I didn't think that was going to happen. Let's put a blanket on those, eh? All right, second try, guys. I wasn't even welding the right area the first time, so kind of kind of stupid of me. There's no room under this car. I just resanded all the areas because the slag built up all over the area. So <laughs> let me show you. Actually, it's kind of funny. So this is the area I'm supposed to sand, uh, tack weld, and I tack welded the other area right there. cigar bro no penetration
I think we got it, boys. My, my freaking head feels like 200 pounds by laying down on here and just trying to pick my head up to, to watch this. What a life. Check it out, guys. I actually fused the two pieces together. It's working good. Look at that, man. Just went straight through the straight through the shirt. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to weld overhead with the Titanium Flux 125. We, uh, we definitely failed for the most part. We were trying to weld aluminum. Cannot do it. So flex pipe is definitely in store in the future, but there's no way I'll be able to weld that. Um, it's just, it's just a lot of work to do it under the car without a lift. So it's a fail, but I think, I think, uh, it's user error. So comment down below guys, if you have any tips, tricks, if you've done overhead welding like this before, if you've done flux core welding, what do you guys recommend? And I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true